Okay, so today we're gonna be doing some eyeshadow. Welcome. Hi everyone, welcome to Makeup with Erica Gila. Today we're gonna be doing some eyeshadow. I'm gonna be doing some hacks that I've watched on YouTube. So I went ahead and pre-primed my eyelids with my Urban Decay primer, eyeshadow primer, as you can tell, I already have like that. Now my challenge here is I have hooded eyes, so bear with me as we are doing this together. I'm experimenting with everything I've been watching, okay? So now we're going to post-prime the lids by putting a foundation color. I'm doing Kat Von D's Neutral. It's a good concealer. People have been using this in makeup tutorials a lot. I know I'm using my fingers. I'm gonna be setting it with my Cody's Airspun setting powder. I'm a big fan of what I've been watching lately with the tutorials is all about tapping. I should probably use a mirror. Where's the mirror? <laughs> Where's the mirror? <laughs> I need a mirror. Hold on. Okay, I found the mirror. Now I'm gonna be using the dust brush. And because I'm a newbie beginner with makeup, I'm using Sephora's powder brush without a number. But if you have any recommendations for brush for me, for my face type, please comment below. Thank you. Okay, so we have right here a nice, okay, right? Okay, so I should probably do that on the other side too. Or should we'll do one eye at a time. We'll do one eye at a time. Okay, also just so you know, I do a color swapper dry brush cleaner. You can get it at your local um, drugstore. I use it to just clean off my brushes when I'm done. It's a great way to like test them out too to make sure that they're clean. I'm a first time makeuper, besides the fact that I do drag, but I'm still a beginner with my makeup art nonetheless. Now see, I have hooded eyes. I'm just wiping off the excess. Songs my sorry. Mom's vacuuming and listening to Britney Spears in the background. <laughs> Today's color is turquoise, okay? Today's color is turquoise and I have a hooded eyes, so we're gonna start with like a darker shade because we wanna smoke it out a little bit. We're gonna use a darker shade to smoke it out. Now, what I've been learning on my makeup journey with palettes, I'm using, I'm gonna be using the Morphe 35B palette, okay? It's still pretty intact, right? You can tell I'm a newbie. So pretty much you wanna work with colors that are gonna be in the same kind of square. That's how you know what colors can go together pretty much, but I don't know if they just did it that way or not, to be honest. This is not the brush I'm gonna be using. This is my blending brush, but I'm just using it to point out to you. So today's color is turquoise. I wanna be working with these shades right here, okay? As I mentioned previously, I am a beginner with makeup. I am a newbie, so I have not graduated to brushes with numbers. My brushes just have names on them. So this is gonna be my blending shadow brush by Sephora. This is gonna be my other, this is gonna be a precision shadow. I don't know which one I'm supposed to use first, to be honest. So we're learning together. This is gonna be my angled liner. I should probably use that for my, right there. Okay, and then we have the smudge. Oh, you probably don't want that one. The precision shadow brush. I really wanna be good at my makeup. Like you guys don't understand. Like in my mind, it's like I'm a dream, but in reality, I'm a nightmare. I'm like a mess. So let's make this a reality. Just a begun having my fun, yeah. We're gonna be closing our eyes. And everyone's been saying kind of do that on the tutorials. We did that, now what's next? This is so exciting! Like, you know when you feel like you're getting it, but you're still not getting it, but you feel excited nonetheless? Okay, we're doing this together. So I have to tilt my head back because I have hooded eyes, okay? That's why I'm doing that, in case you wonder why I look funny when I'm doing my makeup. I think this brush is too big. Fuck. This is not what I want! I need a smaller brush. We managed to blend it out pretty good. I'm just blending it towards, like I'm not brushing out, I'm brushing it towards my eyelid. This is how you do it apparently. I have to just tell you, like I watched a hundred thousand YouTubes, okay? I don't think I've made my history public at all, but I can just tell you, no offense, but the majority of you YouTubers out there who do makeup tutorials are amazing, but it doesn't help me because I'm like a tactile learner. Like I need somebody to actually practice on my face or like tell me. But like the way that you do it, it's like you're not here with me, so it doesn't help. So Manny or James or Jeffrey or Tati or anyone who does makeup, hello, I'm right here. Ready, willing, and able. Help. Girl, you'll be doing fine, you'll be doing help. Okay, but I really needed to work on like this, this right here. Oh my God, this is amazing. Don't get too like overzealous, Eric. We're rinsing the brush. If you really wanna better settle up and get your rhythm, try to hit you and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your own. I'm gonna take your own. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so now I wanna do like a lighter on the bottom, like over the lid, because that's like the point, right? Cause I wanted light. Hold on, I need some smoothie. So we're gonna be using this blue color, the turquoise one I showed you earlier, but I'll show it to you again because you probably wanna see it. This color right here, kind of my favorite. We just used this darker one to do this shade right here. We used this navy blue. Now we're gonna use this light one. So the point here is to kind of 
finder crease and I'm just gonna be doing the tapping effect because tapping occurred. Oh my God, this looks amazing. Uh, Eric, good job to you. Okay, so you have to know where your crease is because we're gonna be doing that halo effect. We wanna go above the dark with a lighter color. So we're just going, we're just tapping, we're just tapping. Then I'm tapping underneath the eyes as well. Now, because my eye shape goes down a certain way, I'm only tapping up this way. Now remember we have concealer that we can wipe off this excess nonsense, so don't worry about it. I'm kind of liking it, but it's a little too too much. It's not what I'm wanting. I want to go kind of like from here up. So I added a little too much right here. This should all be gone. This does not need. Okay, so here's my secret. It's a makeup eraser stick by Alme. You can also get it at your local drugstore. Snip the tip and it just goes in right there. I think these are underrated to be honest with you, but these are awesome. But you see how like it just, it cleaned it up like really nicely, just right? We've managed to do the dark and the light. Now let's go back to our brush that we had originally because we were tapping. What I want to do here is I want to create a crease. That's where the glitter is going to be. Okay, so there's that. I didn't really do much. We want to cut the crease, right? Okay, so I went ahead and diffused it. Went in with the lighter shade of blue. Okay, I'm going to use my secret weapon. I found a brush I forgot I had. Okay, so my secret weapon is Sephora brush number 205. It's the only brush I have with a number. I forgot I had it. Uh, this one's great for your crease. This one's also for your shadow. I would have known that an hour ago. To finish off the center eyelid, we're going to be using the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsession. I love this palette. So like pretty. Oh gosh, look at that. Look at that, right? I barely use it because like, you know, I don't wanna like mess it up or anything. So I wanna sparkle. We're gonna use the shadow one. Actually, you know, I'm gonna use a silver. Let's see how this works. I really like this silver. I need some blue on the end. And there you have the left side. Now let's go ahead. I'm gonna go and do the other eye. So we're doing this one. I have a feeling this one's gonna be a lot better than the other one. It always happens that way. Okay, guys, I had a problem here. <laughs> Can you tell? Okay, so this is what I ended up doing. I ended up putting concealer, the Kat Von D, all over my eyelid, the primer, concealer, whatever. Um, I clean my brush. This is why I need help, people. I know you never mess with success. When you were already good the first time, you shouldn't have messed with it. So whatever, here we are now. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna fix this. Okay, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix this. How do you fix it? Besides foundation, what is it that we're trying to achieve here? What's my look? I want like a turquoisey, dark, shadowy, right? So now that we did this, we're gonna go dark. Whatever, just drop setting powder all over, spilt translucent powder all over my palette, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go in with our crease brush. We're gonna go in with our crease side and we're gonna use darker navy that we have originally had. I need to use a mirror for this. Okay, we got the mirror, God help me. And I swear I'm campaigning for like RuPaul season 13. That's why I like, I'll have this order. So I'm doing the tapping effect. Okay, I highly recommend having a lot of light. Oh baby, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, so actually I like happy accidents because I'm actually doing something really sexy here. That's what I did wrong, ugh, duh. Okay, I figured it out. All right, you want me to share with you? I was applying my Kat Von D concealer, the white one. I forgot you're not supposed to apply it directly onto your face. If you're doing it for eyeshadow, you're supposed to like apply a little bit on your hand and then whatever, right? I'm loving this. Okay, everybody always says start on your outer corner or whatever, but it doesn't work for everybody, okay? People, I'm just telling you right now, use your inner corner. I'm a lefty, okay? That might also make a big difference because first of all, if you're gonna be a makeup artist, you should like number one, mention your first things. Number one, I'm a lefty. Number two, I have a hooded eyes. Number three, I'm messy. And number four, I need to learn how to not be messy and how to use all of the above. Shouldn't never let you go. Right? You have to find your own method, people. Honestly, no shade here, but you'll figure it out on your own, just like I did. That's why I'm here for you, to help you. You have to say, Sephora brush number 205 is amazing. Whatever, I'll fix it. Now we want the lids to sparkle, right? Because we don't have any, so we have to draw. So I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D in neutral again. This time I'm just gonna pump it, pump and swirl like a scoop. I'm gonna be putting some directly on my wrist. And so we have it here on our hand, okay? And I'm gonna use my Sephora angled liner pencil brush. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some. I'm gonna go above my natural crease. And the point is to not look messy when you do it. And so to set it, I'm just gonna use some of my white mixed with my setting powder and just tapping it on. Oh, I'm getting that look that I wanted. Maybe I just need to use more of my Urban Decay one that I showed you earlier. Okay, the point of this was to give me a neutral tone, I guys, to give me back my eyelid. That's why that one girl in that YouTube video used makeup remover. I got it now. This is just creating a mess. So don't do that, Eric. Cool what you're doing. I see the illusion but it's just not working for you at all. Ugh, so frustrating! What is frustrating, my darling? I'm not knowing how to do what I'm doing. What are you doing? I'm trying to give myself another eyelid. Well, whatever. It looks good nonetheless. Okay, so I added some black to smoke it out. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, yeah, hello. <laughs> Looks good though. Mom says it looks good, so. So now all we need right now is to add some shimmer and to clean up this mess so I don't look like a battered housewife. We need shimmer. Please hold. Okay, so now we're gonna go in again with our Huda Sapphire Obsession. Oh look, the wall of mirrors, hall of mirrors, yeah. We'll do a little bit of silver. I don't care, I want it. And then you just wanna go ahead and just diffuse back with your brush again, just to blend it all in like they say, I guess. With the leftover silver, we're going back in again and tapping the Huda. By the way, for all you makeup enthusiasts, my name is Eric Gahila, and I'm the originator of the eyeliner. I come from the Egyptian background of the Kehel. Kehel means eyeliner in Arabic, so it was the community of the people that wore the eyeliner back in the day, you know? That was me. Like, you know, the makeup Kiel and Huda. We need to like get together and make like a family label. Okay, so I'm packing on the silver everywhere because I clearly have no idea how to do this. Duh. Right, hello. Duh. That's where we're packing it everywhere. And then we want to blend, right? Blend it all together. So now this is where the magic comes in. More magic. I know, I love the magic, yeah. So now we're gonna be using our KVD and our KKW, bam, to cover up this mess right here. So we're gonna put a little bit of the foundation from KVD on the KKW blender. Okay, and now we're gonna be going in, now that we clean this all up. Right, you like it? Autumn sunrise. I need more light though. God, I fucking live in the shadows, like Ashley Simpson. So we're gonna have to go in and contour. I'm giving myself my natural pigment back so it doesn't look like I'm melted. I think I'm naturally pretty. I don't need makeup, but I like makeup. Whatever, right? Whatever to you. Okay, so we're gonna go in with her brush. I'm just gonna do circles. I look great for a camera. Not this side though. I don't, I don't need to really contour because I already have my shadow. Ugh. Okay, we got it. A hooded shadow for hooded eyes. That's right. Hooded eye makeup tutorial. Isn't that great? I mean, not bad for like a first time beginner if you don't count my drag days when like I put drag on. I hope you enjoyed my awesome makeup tutorial and I'm expecting to do more of these because I had a great time doing this. This was amazing. And here is my final look for my smoky turquoise hooded eyeshadow tutorial using makeup by Morphe, Huda, KKW, Kat Von D, Marc Jacobs, and Tony Dash lipstick. Makeup brushes by Kat Von D, Sephora, and KKW. And if you have any tips for me on how I can improve my makeup game, please make sure you comment below. I love to improve my makeup game. We've got a long way to go, but you know what? There's only one way to go, and it's up, baby! This is Erica Hill reminding you to paint with all of your colors. Thanking you for watching my video. I'll see you soon. Embrace your inner Leo. Grrr. Yeah.